Right, quick vlog slash behind the scenes. Look at what we're doing at Power for UK, what we've been doing, what we're gonna do. Um, I've got organized for this video. I got Zach helping me again today. Look, I've even written a list of what we're doing. So what have we been doing? What are we doing? Number one, petrol loop cap strap tether where have they gone zach so there we go so we have tooled up these freelander 2 petrol tethers we did the video on that and they've been selling really well that was a little product we did because if this broke from land rover you had to buy the whole cap um which seems a little bit wasteful so we have done those and they have been selling really well so thank you to everyone who's bought that that's good right Poo, what else we got jam roof clamps yeah so when we fitted the roof tent, Q roof tent, um, we had some issues where we had to bolt it to the roof and I w didn't want to trust the T-slots that you get in those Thule, Thule roof bars. So we have developed a strap that straps right around. Right, so if you come this way, Zach. Bah, bah, bah. Right then, get up on the step, Zach. And then, so what we've designed is we've 3D printed a spacer at the top and a spacer at the bottom that follow exactly the profile of the Thule roof bar. And then we put a stainless steel clamp strap top and bottom. So the 3D print, it isn't actually taking any force as such. It's just acting as a spacer so that the force from the bolts is clamped. And we've had those up for sale and we've done quite well with those. And although that clamp in itself doesn't give you and doesn't do anything immediately it gives you a platform where you come out and if you've got an awning that's coming over from the side and you've got the brackets it will give you some points that you can mount to and we do another bracket for it as well don't we yeah. careful walking back with zach <laughs> don't fall over so there we go so what do these parts look like so this is another bracket that you could use to create a cb aerial mount it's stainless steel so it doesn't rust but that does mean it's non-magnetic because I know there's aerial mounts. But if you want one of those in steel, we can powder coat those, can't we, Zach? Yeah. We can get those and then you can... And then you would have a, a two straps at the top and it's all lined up, look, so you can put it on whichever way. And there we go, right. So, and the top, and these are 3D printed and you can see the top and bottom. But Craig was over from Camtech the other day and, and he said that 3D printed stuff, it's, doesn't it just break or snap or... No, no, it doesn't, does it? So that's really cool. And we put the square shank there so that it holds the the coach bolts when you bolt it up. Right, there you go. Right, that's that one done. Roof clamps, if you want those, they're on the website. Da, da, da. Snorkel bracket. Should we talk about the snorkel bracket? Can do. Um, so the snorkel bracket that holds the, this is why my car is always in bits. Um, we did have a customer and Land Rover changed from the metal bracket to a plastic bracket and someone has broken a plastic bracket. So we're going to look if we can get these remanufactured in a stronger plastic. Um, we got a little sneaky trick we're thinking of doing. So we've just laser scanned that and we're going to see if we can get those made in a super resilient. So if you're doing some really serious stuff and you're worried about some forces on there we think we might have the answer to that right then any excuse to get the laser scanner out right then 90 graphics i haven't got these so i'll have to put the pictures on the screen so we have done some 90 so the land rover 110 comes with the signature panel the square panel on the side the 90 it's optional now it's interesting because I think it will obscure part of the view on the rear seats as you're sat inside in the 90. So I'm not sure that many people will go for it. But I think it was on the 90 hardtop. I might be wrong. Right. Um, but someone's asked for an X because they've got a Defender 90, the Model X, which is the super lush one. And they wanted an X. And we thought, well, so we've done a nice X graphic. And I'll put the picture of that on the screen. And some other 90 graphics where it's sort of Ben, he's all arty, isn't he? He is, and he's all gone on a one call over. It's all artistic, apparently. So we've got those for sale. We've got those done. Right. Ooh, Ineos. Right. So those of you who have been following the Ineos story with us um, may have seen. George and I did our first live broadcast the other day, which was a bit odd. We've not done it before. And basically, we watched the Ineos announcement live that the... Ineos, what price is going to be, when it's going to be available. 
And that was quite funny. It probably wasn't out because we had a couple of beers by the time we did it. But anyway, that's a, that video is around if you look for it on our channel carefully. Um, now you can put from, if you were on like the, been following them closely and giving them your email, you could put a 450 pound deposit down now and reserve a car for delivery in some time in the future somewhere and it keeps getting pushed out. I think we're into like 20, 22 plus now. Um, we're debating whether to do that. We probably won't, right? And that's uh, not for any disrespect for the INEOS. If we had infinite money and infinite time and infinite space, we probably would. But I'm not sure how many they're gonna sell and whether developing parts for them, whether there'll be a big enough market. We're not sure yet. We're, we're, still, we're still losing sleep on that one. Um, but we did do that. And right then, so yeah, you, but, the, but they will be available for general release to put a deposit from October the 30th, I'm gonna say. Now the guys in the US, your delivery date for the INEOS I think is pushed out into 2023. But check out INEOS's video and all the information's online as ever. Right, and th this is the other thing that's sort of linked to the INEOS thing. Fuel prices, they're going crazy, aren't they, Zach? They are crazy and they're going crazier. Um, if you guys in the US think your fuel's expensive, you've got no idea. Um, so post pandemic, we've got fuel prices going, well, everything's going up, isn't it? Our shipping prices are going ridiculous. Um, fuel prices, gas prices, oil prices are all going up. Now, as you know, Mrs. Powerful has the Tesla and she's been kind of feeling a bit smug lately because we charge it with the solar panels on the roof here we've got 50 kilowatts and as she drives past the queues at the petrol station there's a certain satisfaction i think driving an electric vehicle i'm sure we can all relate to that um so it all brings into question of of the future of petrol diesel fossil burning cars versus electric and is buying an Ineos or another petrol car, is that, it, it's, it's a mixed, we've got to do something about this environment stuff. So I don't know, and I don't want to start the whole debate. Um, but interesting, so we thought we'd, we'd go on to We Buy Any Car and see what the Tesla's worth, right? So we bought it last year, in December I think we got it, and we paid 40,400 for the Tesla. Cheapest Model 3, no extras, base color, um, so we put it in, <laughs> so we buy any car, which will just, you drive it there and, and we, we could, they will offer us 39,000, I'll put the bit up, I think it's like four or 500 pounds. So to own the car for the best part of a year has cost us a thousand pounds, it's like 20 quid a week. And we've saved that in fuel. So it's a really attractive proposition. Now, whether that's just inflated at the moment, but you can go on Tesla's website and you can still buy a new Tesla Model 3 base spec with no extras for £40,400. Now, you've got to wait for the delivery, and they're saying November, but whether that would be November, December, January, February, I don't know, but that's interesting, isn't it? That's crazy. Anyway, that's the crazy world we live in. Someone wrote to us, and they said, why do you brand your stuff with HSX? Good question. Um, so, products we design, we're quite happy to put our name to it and Powerful UK Limited doesn't fit very well on a lot of stuff. So we wanted a short abbreviation um, that we could get. Now, we just like, hey, there was a, there's a lot of three letter things. So you're always avoiding something like there's HSE and Land Rover got that. They've got HST, they've got SVX. So it was just a question of coming up with the three letters that, and they don't mean anything. <laughs> that's, that's not, um, I, I think like, HSE stands for like high specification equipment or something, um, but no one really cares. They just know they've got a HSE or a Vogue or an SE. So we've gone for that. But there's one interesting thing about why we chose, or sort of accidentally, bonus. When you laser cut some letters like an A, um, the middle bit of the A falls out when you laser cut it, unless you do some tricky sort of stencil bit where you have a line joining it. But if you look, HSX, when you laser cut that, there's no bits that fall out. So we quite like that. That was, and I would say we planned it, but we didn't. Right, 
So that is Y HSX. So that is a, and we've registered that. It's a registered trademark. So it allows us to keep control of that and how we sell it and use it. Right. It's not all about new defenders and other stuff. We have done some stuff for the Freelander too. We've done an iPad holder. And I wanted to show you our highly technical development process. It was just an idea I sort of came up with and I sort of lashed this together. And that was that was, that was the V1. And then and then it went to a V2. And and let's have a look. Oh, that looks quite and then we, we sort of wanted to modify it and we put some stuff. I'll show you it in the car in a second. Um, and then we, we, we tested it and snapped it and hold on, where's the one that snapped? No, I don't. Um, but we've gone through various iterations to get the size in right. One of them was pressing the volume button when it was gripped in there. So the volume was constantly going up or down. So we've tweaked it. So I think, I think this is like V4 we're on now. Um, so yeah, that's V4. And we, we put an extra hole here. So if you want to mount it with a screw, you could get to that. We put some pads for Velcro. It's not a thing of beauty but it is quite functional. And when we're off-roading, it's good to have the iPad up because we can get the um, Trailwise 2, the Green Lane Association website up and we can see when George and I go off-road, we can see. Um, so that's why we've done it. Now, if we will get these for sale on the website if you're interested in those. But basically the clever thing is, well, I'm a big fan of my own work, aren't I, Zach? And Julian's done all the work to be fair and Mark. So um, what, it, what it relies on is this arm here flexing and that gives you a springiness there so it's that springiness that gives you the clamp action so there we go i was just trying to design something just simple we'll have a look right we've done the lr2 we'll have a look at it in the car now cut to me in the car right so this is our contraption um that's going to hold an ipad so um we've made two little pads so it can stick on and the idea is it sticks on here now you can lift this panel out now we are just for the purposes of demonstration, we're gonna screw it in so you can see how it works. Okay, so it's gonna sit there, so it's all flush with the profile. Um, and then it's gonna, we've done it so it'll fit with or without a case. Message failed to send, there you go. Right, well, nothing personal on there, is there? There you go, no. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put it in here and it rests on the bottom and as you push it up at the back it clicks on and then we'll have two of those and then as we're driving along we can look at our maps and it's it doesn't get in the way of the view too much so that's our let us know what you think our ipad holder for the and then when you don't you need it anymore you can unclip your ipad the velcro pads top and bottom and leave it there as I say, it's not a thing of beauty, but it's going to work for me. And if you want it, we can get those made. Let us know. Right, back to the drawing board. Here we go. Disco 3, rear, 3, 4 rear tailgate. So hopefully we've done that to death this last week or two. We've done how to get in your tailgate when your actuator fails. We've done how to replace your actuator. Um, what else did we do? There was a third video as well. And there's one more coming. Someone's written to me. Simon, you don't need to buy the Land Rover actuator. You can just buy the bit inside. It's a Ford Fiesta. Imagine a Ford Fiesta actuator. So I've ordered one off eBay for seven pounds. Um, and we may do a video next week on can you fix your tailgate for seven pounds? So if your tailgate's dicky, whatever the word is, on the way out, wait a minute and we'll get and see if the Fiesta one works. Right, we've done that. Right, this l663 tow bar you've been busy haven't you Zach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right we haven't put the video up yet but we've done a whole video that's coming out on how this deployable deplorable did you say zach no right how this deployable tow bar works and it is a thing of absolute wizardry so you have got two motors that sit behind this guard we'll explain and there's a clever little ball joint here and it it allows the the tow bar to go down and then round and then bang and then up and store out the way and on the defender it's absolute genius because you would hit your shins on that where you've got the back door so on a disco three or four the tailgate comes down so you never stood right next to the bumper but on the defender where you open the door you are right next to so your shins would be getting dirty and bashed and everything so i really like the idea but i wasn't prepared to pay the money 
but someone had some damage basically they had a, a tap on the rear bumper that broke the motors but if you want to know more about that watch Zach and I's video that we'll do on this and Zach has been working on designing a guard for the Defender tow bar and this is the sort of how many V's is that do you reckon Sam? <laughs> I think we're into double figures of version on that one um, but we're having a look at that and we'll get that made in acrylic next and then we'll get on to getting that made in stainless steel Right, what's next on the list? So that is the tow bar. What have we got next? Um, oh, there's one, we, there's one I haven't put on there. The tow hooks. Yes, right. Um, so we've covered all that. That's the plastic bracket. That's, we've got to do those. That's my computer. Um, do, 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 do. 50 Shades of Grey. Apparently it's a film book, book made into a film. Don't know. We, we don't do all that stuff, do we, Zach? We're too busy. Um, so Land Rover have made different colours, flavours of this front Defender lettering. Um, and there's, there's black and silver and starlight silver and something. And we've bought every single one. And we've put the rear lettering, which coordinates with it, on the website. And we will do a video showing you all the different types of lettering colour but essentially it seems to be 50 shades of grey-ish. So we'll do that video if you're interested in Defender colouring, genuine, genuine lettering. We'll get that on. Right, the one thing I forgot. Right, here we go. This, what, what are these? Ben's been designing these. Come around the back here. Through our messy workshop. Right, so, so we put our new, we launched, we launched our new, our new, um, checker plate tow hooks rounds. We launched those and Ben thought it would be funny if we put tow hook here. Um, there was actually some, somewhere in the warehouse, apparently someone, I don't know who did it Zach, but, but where we've got the tow stuff, someone had written T-O-E. Now my, my spelling's bad, but I was good at that. So when we did this, we were playing around with an idea and we've, we talked to a couple of you given some input. So we have made a sticker here that says tow. Now I was hoping they would be straight down, but you, when I made it straight, it didn't fit properly. So we are just going to fit this right one here. And the other thing, when we first made it, I'll show you the early versions here. Boop, boop. When we first made it, we had, we, we had the O as a separate bit. And you know, earlier I was talking about the laser cutting of the laser font. This is the trouble. Some letters like an O, the middle falls out. Um, so we, we've changed that design and we've now got it with that, which I think works really well. We tried to put it on a slope, sort of GDM style, um, but it meant that you didn't have the continuity of the perimeter and the thing was just a nightmare. Now, we are trying to do it in red, but we found this black vinyl we use for quite a lot of stuff and it's really good. And I'll show you how easy it is to fit now. But the red, you can see when we've got the thin vinyl, it's all a bit flaky. And basically, we, we weren't skillful enough to fit that right so basically that's going to go on here you see this little groove here you put some water on but they're different left and right they've got I don't know if you can see you can, can you just see the curve it's just it just a slight banana shape to it but there we go we should better just put this on bo -bo 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 -bo. and then we're all done aren't we Zach everyone's up to date right here now what it there we go but the beauty of doing this with the water is, if you're not happy with it there, you can, in theory, pull it off. I think I've got it a bit. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. I say that every time. You see, you can still slide it about. It doesn't like stick, like double-sided sticky tape. So there we go. You can still slide it. So that is our design. I got that square. That's our design for the rear, the rear tow hook graphic. Um, if you want any of those, let us know if you've got any ideas, but we'll get those on the website in black. Um, if you want any other colors or anything, let us know. Right, let us know, add your comments. There's loads more going on. We'll try and keep you updated, keep watching. And we've got something ridiculous, haven't we? We've got like 98,600 subscribers, which is madness. So thank you very much and look out for the videos next week.